Yo, what it do, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Zay. Back for another video. It has been a minute. It's been a couple months, I believe, and I want to apologize to you guys. I want to give you guys my year update for my FUE hair transplant. Um, I know some of you guys have been waiting for it. I want to apologize for not getting it up sooner. Uh, I've been moving and going on auditions and doing a lot of things that I've wanted to keep my hair short. So I've been cutting my hair like once a week maybe and keeping it low and I didn't feel like doing a year update on my hair would be fair to y'all to be able to assess and see how my results have come in. So that's been the main reason I haven't given you guys that update yet. But today I have not cut my hair for about six weeks now so I've let it grow for some time so I figured today would be a good time for me to finally give you guys that one year update. So. Without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys. This is my one year results. Um, as you, as I've said before, I wanted to keep my hair short because it is thin on the scalp. But, so this is what it looks like without a cut for over a month. I'm saying I got, what I'm happiest about is my hairline. That has just came in beautifully. I'm looking real rough as far as I haven't shaved anything, but I wanted to get this video up because I'm gonna cut my hair tonight. But as you can see, I used to complain about this, but I have no complaints at all, at all, at all. I'm overall happy with just, you know, what my doctors have did for me, Dr. Cortez and uh, Tijuana. The clinic I went to was HMR in case this is your first time watching or if you forgot. But yeah, this is my, my results. I have not. So if you know, I had got my, my hairline and just like a few sprouted around up top. So like my hair, so I'll, I'll throw a before picture up there. Whoa! Oh! Somebody, oh! He God. needs some milk! But you can see why I'm happy right now because what it was before, I was wearing these hats all the time. It was just, it was definitely depressing to be honest with you. So to be able to get this done, I'll still wear a hat now when I grow my hair like this just because of how thin it is and we all self-conscious, we all self-conscious, man. I'm gonna be honest. But um, I mean, this ain't terrible, but at the same time, like I didn't get my crown done either. So my crown is hella thin. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'll give you a better view in a minute, but um, you know, other than that, when I, my hair is short, I'm happy. Like, I'm happy all together, but like, with having the FUE, my hair being short, just my line looks nice, you know what I'm saying? And it's just everything, I don't know, it was everything that I, I had expected it and wanted it to be, and, and some more. So I'm definitely happy. Um, I would definitely recommend anybody who's thinking about getting the FUE to do it. Now, would I, I don't think I'll get another one because I don't want my donor, I don't want my donor region looking crazy because I don't know if you guys know, I didn't really know what to expect until after the surgery, like really realizing those hairs that they pluck out to put up here, they don't grow back. So if you're getting a whole lot of donor area, like your whole donor area removed, it's going to your back your hair is gonna look inconsistent and maybe a little fun you have to just keep blending it in as you're cutting it but um, but yeah I don't think I'm gonna do that again to just make sure everything stays cool and I might I know I've uh, before I, I said that I didn't want to go with the um, finasteride and minoxidil because of how it's made me feel a few years ago what it did but now <clears throat> the company who I did it through before they offer a topical finasteride and minoxidil in one. So I might try that out and see how it goes. I'm not putting anything in my body that made me feel funny before. But yeah, if I do decide to go back and get any more grafts done, I might get a few and just put them up, up in my crown area, up in this area. But as far as trying to fill out all this thinness, that's it might be a lot of grafts it's not I don't feel like doing that to my donor area and I really don't mind as I've, I've stated previously before 
um, with just my hair being short because I usually don't even like it being this long. If I was growing my hair out before I had dreads, I was growing my hair out. So, yeah, this, I don't like keeping it longer than like a one or two up top. So, that's perfect for me. So, if anything, I might just get a little bit in my crown and that's it. But um, other than that, this year has been a great year. Just seeing the progress month to month has been awesome. But if you can do that for yourself, I strongly recommend you do it for yourself. Like, do that for you. There's women out here getting their ass and titties done all the time. Do it, man. They, they might be, and they look funny walking around. Some of them look funny walking around. Go ahead and do that for yourself. Make yourself, you know, feel great. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about my journey at all just go ahead and drop them down below you know what i'm saying i'm still going to continue to make videos as i try out this minoxidil finasteride and and my results still might come in some more who knows so i'll just continue to keep you guys updated i'm about to go cut my hair right now in a minute and i'll show you guys i'll show you guys what my hair looks like short so you can get a better idea of why i like it so short and <clears throat> I'll show you the back, just my donor area, the results. I'll show you the back right now and let you see how my hair is growing. Uh, let's see if you get a good shot. You can see my donor area. I got like a lot here. A lot here. And my crown is thin. I don't know if y'all cut all that. But yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? That's about six weeks with no haircut. And yeah, so you can definitely see, you can see my scalp, but I didn't get a lot of this done. As I said, I got this done. So before my, that was like back here. Oh, my hair was like back there on both corners. So, it's definitely, it's definitely a blessing. But I'll say it again, if you can do it, and if you're thinking about doing it, and you have the money to do it, do it. Do it. The world needs you to be a happier you. If you're happy, you're able to spread that happiness to others. Like your light shining will help somebody else's light shine. Just motivating and inspiring others, so I mean, so I'm hoping I'm doing that with my channel. I'm hoping I'm encouraging some of you guys to go and do the same thing. Cause I'm definitely a lot happier right now. Like I, I can't even explain it, man. I, I would literally wear a hat everywhere, do rag everywhere. And even with doing so, I could. I was pulling a lot of girls on. My hair used to be fine. But when my hair started thinning, even when I'd have a hat on, I would still feel less confident Cause I'm thinking, what if they ask me to take my hat off, or they they're gonna know one day that this is not what my hair really like. They're gonna actually see my hairline and blah blah blah. So to be able to just walk up to them now, like with my hair, just you know, I can't explain, man. Just that confidence is back. So I've been rambling on about happiness and confidence, cause that's what's most important. And I'm hoping I can encourage you guys to go take care of yourselves. But no, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, recommendations, suggestions, anything, go ahead and drop it down below. I'm going to be dropping another video soon. Some of you guys have been tuned in to my journey from the get-go, like from the very beginning, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'm at 600 plus subscribers right now, and I just thank each and every one of you for tuning into the journey. A lot of you guys are on your own journey. I wish you the best of luck. I'm about to check some of your channels out right now and just see how it's going. So yeah, let's uh, keep encouraging each other. You know what I'm saying? It's, if you like the video, go ahead and drop a thumbs up for me, man. I appreciate it. Drop that comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Because I got more videos coming, not just on hair. I'm going to try to keep you guys entertained. For those of you who have been entertained by my videos. Um, but yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!